D E D dead. The first consultation cost me four hundred over dollars. Fish soup ban mian. No, like we are also human and we have our own struggles. Beautiful pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me for saying this, but maybe can rival Genki. We are absolutely drenched. Our dining table, kitchen island, is also up. Yeah! Is sugar hot? Good morning. So it's really early, and I have surprised myself because I'm waking up for a PT class at this juncture when you're watching this video. I haven't worked out in. I think one and a half months uh, so I'm a bit nervous Anywho, I just wanted to show you all my new skincare routine I do change up my skincare routine once in a while because I feel that like uh, I mean part of my job I get to try out so many new products but at the same time like I feel like after a while it's good to kind of incorporate and switch out and alternate some products in your routine because that way it kind of forces your skin to adapt Yeah. So anyway, I want to highly recommend this one. Look at this. This bottle is huge, okay? And I am down to this. This is the The Lab by Blown Through Oligo Hyaluronic Acid, 5000 DA. Um, this is a really, really, really good toner. And it's highly raved by so many famous people. Do y'all know who the live stream king Li Jiaqi is? Like Austin Lee. So apparently, he really loves this one and... He has like record, like breaking, I don't know, selling, I don't know how many thousands of bottles in a few seconds. If you have dry or sensitive skin, in fact, all skin types, I highly recommend this because everyone needs hyaluronic acid, everyone needs hydration in the skin. No matter your skin type, even if you are super oily, this is really not going to have any weight or grease on your skin. In fact, it will help to uh, balance it out. So why is 5000 DA so important? Because a normal hyaluronic acid is 100,000 DA, which is the size. So imagine a hyaluronic acid being 20 times bigger than this one and I think if you use it you can feel that this just absorbs way faster than any of your other hyaluronic acid like toners it doesn't just like evaporate you know it really goes into the skin and it makes your skin very nice and hydrated apart from this I also really like their ampoule and their serum and their mask and their pot like toner pads everything just kind of goes very well together just thought I was to share. <laughs> Welcome to my TED talk. This from my protein is actually really nice. It's the Layered Protein Bar. Mm. Honestly, it doesn't even taste like a protein bar because you know, protein bars are usually a lot less sweet. They are very muted. Some of them taste like cardboard. Some legit taste like a sweet treat. Although, Macros wise, these are a little bit high in calories and I think high in sugar as well But it's really like not that much higher For the taste, I think it's very worth it Turn out your knees Christmas! Oh my god! <laughs> Look what you can open it, it's a whole bunch of random things. <laughs> but I hope you like it. Yeah. Facial foam, hair, uh, lipstick. This one, this is a cream blush and this. Yeah. Yay! I hope you like it. Stretching because D.E.D. did. <laughs> that workout glow though. Like absolutely no product. Uh, but it could be my skincare that I used this morning. I don't know. More presents to give out. Gonna meet my friends at the cafe's assembly ground. It's been a while since I've been to the cafe. I used to come here all the time um, just to watch movie and study and play darts. Speaking of which, this is the darts place that I used to come. I'm so excited to see my friends. I haven't seen them in so long. Don't believe it, I went to a wrong place. Alright, I'm a little bit nervous. Pray for me guys. Uh, 
two hours later, I'm out from my scan and I guess it is both good and bad news. Um, good news is that it doesn't look too serious. Uh, bad news is that I might have PCOS and I'm currently on medication or rather will be on medication um, Yeah, to try to regulate my hormones before coming back again but the first consultation cost me $400 over dollars and this is going to be an arduous journey so wish me luck! Good morning, it's a very exciting day today because I am finally meeting my makeover follower and we're going to the clock store in Suntec City I'm wearing something very festive because it's Christmas soon so festive the whole mall is playing Christmas songs and here we are Super happy. I love meeting you guys as always. Anyway, it's now time for the second half of our day because we have another shoot. And before that, it is lunch time. I am literally dying and starving. I'm so hungry. But my girls are helping me tapo uh, fish soup pan mian. No, pan mian. No, yo mian with fish. I think. <sighs> guys, I am so tired and. I just wanted to check in uh, with you guys because I realized I never gave you guys a proper update on my gynae visit. I just did a test, I did a consultation with this really famous gynae that was recommended by my friend, a very good friend of mine. Um, she's really expensive, located in Mount E and I spent like close like 400 over dollars on the first consult uh, which honestly made me quite hopeful because she was very very encouraging and um, she says that it seems like I have PCOS which is PCOS um, and I kind of already knew that that I had PCOS growing up I just never had the urge to go and get it fixed or like have um, just take some medication or whatever but in general if I do have PCOS I will also need to follow up with a blood test which is set to be on the second or third day of my period so she did give me some pills for to induce my period to come because uh, it's been at this juncture four and a half months now since my last period which is TMI but it's apparently very worrying I did tell her that uh, you know growing up I've always had very very irregular periods in fact I've never had irregular period before in my life and she just looked at me with such endearing eyes and she's just like oh okay like like i mean to me it's like oh shit like this is horrible but to her it's like oh there's no big deal you know like she kind of gave me that kind of assurance through her voice which i felt was really good so yes my spirits are pretty up she gave me some pills and my period should be coming soon and then um, back to the point, she did say that, you know, no matter how irregular your periods are, if you face uh, missed periods for over three months, then it is time to probably go see a doctor and do something about it and get it to come. Thank you so much for being so, so, so encouraging on my video where I just pour my heart out and sometimes a lot of us forget that, like, the people that you see on the internet, like us, influencers, YouTubers, whatever you want to call us, like we are also human and we have our own struggles and it's just, it, it takes a certain level of, I guess, guts and courage to be able to put yourself out there and show the not so perfect side of yourself. Thankfully, like, like I mentioned, I feel like my YouTube community, my YouTube fam, like you guys are really, really, really nice. There's not a lot of you guys here, which is also a you know like a double-edged sword like of course i really love this cozy community and that is also why i think i'm able to share so freely and be very vulnerable with you guys and so many of you reached out with tips product recommendations doctor recommendations and honestly really from the bottom of my heart like you guys are so much 
like you guys give me so much comfort and so much strength you know uh, more than I think you guys know yeah <laughs> We just shot this! Oh, it's like McDonald's! Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Very hot today! You can see from the perspiration in my hair, it's sticking on my face. Oh my gosh! Oh, you're Ew! Today is actually our first Christmas gathering of 2021. It doesn't even feel like Christmas is in four days. I'm just so shag. Like half of me just wishes 2021 to be over soon, but another half of me don't want 2021 to end because January is coming. Thank you, Celine, for this wonderful cake. This is a panettone. So festive. I've always wanted to try bakes from Atipico. And I finally get to try it tonight because my friends are coming over. Okay, honestly, I don't know how we're gonna finish this, but tonight's dinner we ordered from Hadouken. This is their Christmas feast. See, we got chicken, we got pork, we got seafood, and then we got uh, some condiments. And this is pasta. We got ribs. Yeah. Bribing my cat. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> Beautiful, Pepper. <laughs> She's a good thing. Okay, I take it off, okay? Day two of eating. <laughs> Our leftovers. Wow! Mm -hmm. Someone actually got this for me. Yay. Today we're at Palawan Beach because we're here for an event and this guy is accompanying me. Wow, the sunset looks very nice. Today was such a good day. Um, we actually had so much fun at the at Sentosa and the drone show was actually really amazing. And then we went to Vivo City to try to get some dinner, not realizing how crowded it was gonna be. So we just went to this place with the shortest queue. And uh, the restaurant that we chose is called Hokkaido Ya. Actually, I've seen it around, but I've never tried it. And I guess, I, I don't know, part of me just saw like, the queue wasn't very long, whereas like everywhere else in Vivo was completely jam-packed with people. And it just made me think like, oh, okay, you know, this place probably is not gonna be very nice, but I was too hungry, so I just, I was like, you know what, just forget it. Let's just like eat something for sustenance. So I queued for about 15 minutes and I ordered a bara chirashi. Uh, Matt ordered a miso chashu ramen. Uh, and we had some fries and tori karage and chamamushi uh, as a side. And everything came out to be about 41 bucks. And it was really, really affordable considering how much we ordered. And I just gotta say, it's so underrated. Like, I think the quality... I don't know lah, I mean don't kill me for saying this, but maybe can rival Genki's like cooked food. I mean obviously they don't serve um, sushi so you can't do apples to apples, but it was actually pretty good. So yes, if you guys are uh, around in Hokkaido ya in the future and you're looking for cheap and good Japanese food that you really don't have to think so much about, go try it. This is my Christmas Eve outfit. Got this dress from Zara and curled my hair with the air wrap. My curls are already dying, unfortunately, even after hairspray. And this is the makeup look. Um, it actually turned out way darker than I thought, so I actually took some tissue to tissue it off. But I did a cranberry eye using my Tom Ford palette. Wow. He made a last minute reservation on Christmas Eve and we got an 8.30 slot. Merry Christmas!
Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> okay, okay. Merry Christmas. So today we are going to the zoo and lunch is ready and I don't really have time to do my full skincare because my entire family is waiting for me for lunch. So this is what I usually do. I will take my um, toner pads, preferably something that is very hydrating. But this one is from the lab. It's the Oligo Hyaluronic Acid one. We love it so much. Like You guys really need to try their products, especially if you have sensitive skin or like dry skin. So I just do this and I go and eat. So it's a family tradition that Matt's mom will make like turkey porridge in the morning with the leftover turkey usually from Christmas Eve um, when we are host I mean when we are done hosting so let's go whoa look at this oh. you must miss everything we are here at the <laughs> visiting his friends. <laughs> Today is Christmas day and we thought we would just make use of Matt's um, very soon to expire SRV vouchers to come to the zoo and we really like the zoo so yeah. Unfortunately it's raining though and I mean the, the whole thing is yeah you can get, get a raincoat at $10 but the animals will also be like hiding so a little bit of a downer but pray that the rain will subside soon. It's so crowded. This kid really wants his ice cream so here we are. Let's make a guess. He's gonna go for -da 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 -da. classic vanilla. Whoa. Don't lie, you're just saying it to prove me wrong, right? Because I always say that he's such a basic, basic person. He went with this. What? <laughs> I swear he's just doing it because I, he's just trying to prove me wrong, really. Are you happy now? Will we be able to see lots of animals today? We shall find out. Moments later, we are absolutely drenched. The joke is, <laughs> we were literally the last boat to depart, and then it started pouring like crazy right as we entered the boat. So, yeah, and no umbrellas are allowed, even though we bought a huge ass one. So, yeah, the moral of the story is bring a raincoat. Umbrellas are not allowed everywhere, and check the weather forecast before coming. So because we are so drenched and we don't want to get wet, I think we will have to cut short our trip and go home. But I had fun. I know he didn't. But I did. <laughs> Waiting for my tater tots to be done. Anyone else like like to eat your hand and check? Ta-da! Okay, not done. <laughs> Look at the belly juice. Entries in lights are, I would say 50% done and really lights make a whole lot of difference guys look at this filtered panel it's done so beautifully and they're all hand stuck one by one so impressed and very very happy our dining table kitchen island is also up you happy happy ah, it's finally coming together <gasps> 
after all the delays. Kitchen. So this is how the kitchen looks like. I actually quite like this. I at first didn't quite like this, but now I see it. And uh, our cabinets. I wanted that little like grout thing. So you pull them out like this. And you have a soft closing. This is our little house for our dishwasher. And then yeah, we'll have another like table here for the coffee machines and all. This is our toilet, common bathroom. This is the cabinet. I'm gonna have my vanity area here. And this is our common toilet. Of course, need more storage, more storage. And then our toilet. And this is our bed. Finally, our <laughs> wardrobe is up. I would say 90% up. I am so happy. And like, I don't know, like, I, I was like talking to the guys at Soul Luminaire about, you know, my house um, not having harsh shadows and like, I wanted the house to be, like, every corner to be like very nice and video friendly. And look at this, like, even though it's very brightly lit, there are a lot of like light sources everywhere. You don't get random like harsh shadows. And the best thing is my, like, I have an LED strip above my face but my nose is still seen. So impressed. Meanwhile, <laughs> 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 